Hey guys, welcome into the channel today. We are going to do a shipping video. I sold this beautiful glass piece last night and I need to ship it out today. And so I figured I would go ahead and do a quick video on this glass piece. If you're here just for the shipping video, thanks so much for stopping by and clicking on this video. If you don't know, my name is Tanya. I am a reseller on eBay and on Poshmark and I will sell just about anything and I will ship just about anything. And sometimes I share how I ship my items for transport on this channel. And today is going to be one of those days. But today we sold this beautiful, it's an Imperial vase. It is the Loganberry. It has, it's iridescent. So whenever you move it in the light, I don't know if you can see that or not. I hope so. because. It's absolutely stunning. You can see all the grapes all the way around. I sold this for $45 plus shipping and it is going to, let me go look and see. It is actually going to Katy, Texas. So it's not too crazy expensive to ship. It should cost right around $13 to ship from me. I am in Mississippi. I am more than likely going to ship it priority because if they decide to drop kick my box, uh, which I just had something get broken the other day, uh, they will have to cover it with my $100 insurance that I get with priority. But we're going to cross our fingers that that doesn't happen. And normally I don't double box items, but today I am absolutely going to double box this one because... I do not want it to break. These are not very common pieces and I just want to make sure that it stays intact and it makes it to the customer. So we are going to double box this one or what I consider to be double boxing. So I am going to use two boxes and I pulled the two boxes that I'm going to use that I already chose. I'm going to use two 12 by 9 by 7. This is a very common box. Uh, I get my boxes from anywhere I can. Sometimes Facebook Marketplace. Sometimes, you know, if I see them out and about or my husband gets items shipped to our house because he is an engineer and he has a lot of sites that he has to go to. So sometimes the parts that he needs comes to our house. And so I'm able to reuse those boxes and that is amazing for me. Now we're gonna go, I'm gonna show you my shipping supply station. Now this is a little messy right now. It's not too, too terrible, but like I said, there's all the boxes that I collect. Uh, I will keep any kind of packing material that I get if I order from Amazon, if I order from frankly anywhere. If there is any kind of packing material, I will keep it to reuse it. You can see all the Amazon Prime bubble mailers right there. I will reuse all of those. For those of you that know what that little tissue paper is right there, you know, if you know, you know, that is Thread Up, and that's a, a company that I purchase items from sometimes to resell. There's a bunch of bubble down there that I keep. I even keep my eBay boxes when I order poly mailers from them because I can reuse those boxes to ship books in. And then here is the large roll of paper that I use. You can see how thick this is. You don't really need very much, honestly, because it is so thick. And I actually purchased that from Sam's. But I will pop a comp up here on the uh, screen for you so that you can see exactly how much it is that I pay for it and the name of it. I also have racks way up high in the air that I keep extra bubble wrap on right up there. And if we pan all the way over here <laughs> to this part of my room, I also keep it up there. So yeah, as you can see, I don't waste anything. Okay guys, so we are gonna start off with two pieces of this foam. This is probably foam that I got like out of a, uh, I had ordered like some shelving to go up in our new bathrooms and stuff and it came with a lot of this foam and stuff wrapped around it so of course i saved it so i'm just going to take this is perfect for glassware i'm just going to roll this up right around here 
just like this. And then we're going to tape it off to hold it. I had to grab a couple more pieces. around it. You're basically just taping this on at first just to hold it and then you're going to go crazy you know with the tape to make sure that it's all secured afterwards. It's very easy. It doesn't look real pretty at first, <laughs> but we're basically just making sure you know that we have it all the way covered. And that it has you know, plenty of cushion. Sometimes eBay tape just does not want to cooperate. So now you're just going to make sure that it's all secure all the way down. And for those of you that don't know, I have shipped hundreds, probably thousands of breakables for years. Before I got into reselling, I used to be a professional packer and mover. And I packed and moved things um, across country and overseas in containers. So this is exactly, if, if this item was going overseas, I would pack it the same way, even though it's only going over to Katy, Texas. Pretty sure we're all secured now, all in our little styrofoam pillow looking thing. And most people would probably try to like lay this down like this to ship it, but I'm not going to do that. Uh, I am going to double box this and it will be standing up like this in this box. And I will be putting padding all the way around it and all the way this way as well as to make sure that we have zero movement inside this box. That's our goal. So we have our little pillow baby right there. Now we're going to go, I'm going to use the thick, the thick bubbles that I have. I'm going to put that right in the bottom here. I'm going to move this box for now because it's getting in my way. All right. So we got this right here. And we're just going to put it just like this. And we're going to stand up our little baby just like that. Okay. You know what? I think I'm going to put one more on the bottom. Let's put one more. Just for good measure. How's that? All right. One more on the bottom. Now we have double bubble on the bottom. See that? And we're going to do that to the top as well. Okay. Just like this. And now we're going to start stuffing around. Stuffing around our little pillow baby. another sheet that I have. 
do the same thing to this side. Stuff it on the side, just like this. Fold it over. See how nice that's looking? See? Looking pretty good. You got the double wrap here, double on the bottom. Okay. So now we're gonna take and tape these sides like this. And I'm only I'm only doing this so that it um it helps me in order to put the other box on top. It's a little little trick for you, and then this way you can still uh, come around and put your bubble around here on the top. Okay. All right. So now we're gonna make we're gonna get our other box. I'm gonna show you how this is gonna work. So here's your other box, the exact same size, and you're not gonna close it. So you're gonna leave it like this. Don't tape it up just yet. You're gonna bring it right over top, just like this. Make sure your sides get in there, all the way around. See how that tape helps you? So now here's your little pillow baby in there. So now we can just take, go and put our bubble wrap all the way around this. And that's what we're gonna do now. Start feeding our bubble all the way around. Start packing it in there. You can fold it. This is what I'm gonna do. Maximize it as much as you can. I want you to see this top here. You need to make sure that you're able to see that. Let me look in the camera just to make sure that you're able to. Okay, so I took the two pieces just like this and I kind of folded them like that, see? And those are gonna go on top. So now I have probably this much in between the top of the box and the actual base. Same for this side, did the same thing here, okay? So we're just gonna leave this like this, and now we're gonna go ahead and close it. So if you see, see the very top, see how far down in there that is? So we got a pretty good space in between the actual vase and the top of the box. And then when you close your box, you're gonna come down just a little bit, just to make sure that it's super snug, but you don't want to push down so much that you make the top bubble, okay? You don't want that. But this is nice and snug and it's not going anywhere. So now you can go ahead and tape up your top. And I think we're about out of tape. Let's switch gun. Okay. So now you have your top taped up just like that. And then now we have to come back and finish the bottom part. So the easiest way, in my opinion, to do that is just to lay it on its side and just start coming around and doing each side. So each side is going to look just like this. You're going to come all the way around. And I'll probably come down each side as well. I am the tape queen. I love tape. <laughs> I want to make sure it has plenty. And here we go. So, shake test. You don't hear absolutely zero movement. 
it's still pretty light. It's not bad. So you remember our dimensions it used to be 12 by 9 by 7. So now we just need to measure top to bottom because that's what we altered. And it looks like we're at 15 and a half, so we'll have to go to 16. Let's go weigh it. Okay, we brought it over here to the scale. And it looks like it is 4.2. And I had estimated 4. So I'm just going to come over here. And we're going to put in 4.2. And it's 12 by 9 by 16. Remember, we had to round up because we had 15 and a half. It is going to go priority mail, and it's only going to cost $9.53. I don't think that's too bad. Well, I hope this video eases your fears a little bit about shipping breakables. It's really not that hard. If you don't have like that white foam, you can get that. At, um, I think U-Haul carries it, and you may even be able to get it at like Walmart or an office supply. And I believe it's called dish foam. I have seen it at uh, Home Depot as well, so you can pick some up there too. Anyway, if y'all give the video a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, I would love that. And leave me a comment, let me know, do you have something that you need to ship that way? And if this video helped you at all. And as always, we'll see you in the next one. Bye y'all.